How to send emails with ClickUp. ClickUp email marketing tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can actually integrate your mailing into ClickUp. And a lot of people don't even realize that this is the feature in ClickUp. Currently, ClickUp has added a bunch of new features, including AI, and all of that combined can help you in building more effective projects and getting your goals and milestones achieved quickly and efficiently. So where exactly can you find emails on ClickUp? Well, actually, it's not enabled directly on some boards. However, you can easily enable it. So if I go into a more simpler workspace to show you guys. So I'll just go into this one over here. We're going to go into a simpler board like this. And all you have to do to actually enable emails, you're going to click on the top right over here. And once you click on your profile icon, you can click on settings. Now, once you click on settings over here, you're going to see on the left panel, you actually have the settings to your actual workspace that you have opened up. So this is the leads to sales funnel workspace that we are in. And then you will have the option of click up apps. So it's called click apps over here on the left panel. Now you're going to click on this over here. And once you do that, if you scroll down a little, and once you scroll down you will see emails over here so you can click on enable click app and on some template boards it's already enabled on some it's not because ClickUp likes to let you enable apps as you go because they have a bunch of different apps and if you're not using them there's no use in actually keeping them online so we have enabled this now you have a option over here to post replies to emails as threaded replies instead of new comments now i like to keep threaded replies that's because it helps me keep track of the conversation so i like to enable that and then it's going to show me where i would like to enable click up emailing feature so i want to enable it on all of my spaces now once you have completed that you don't have to save it just go back into your board and just open up any board that you want and if you click on your particular task over here and you write a comment over here so if you write a comment it's now going to show you two boxes at the bottom left so you will see that you have a comment option and then you have an email option now it will show you no email accounts are linked please contact the owner of this workspace now you can click on the email account over here and you can click on link and email. Now you can use a certain business email to make sure that all of your business communication on ClickUp is linked to that particular email. I'll use this personal email over here just to show you guys a example. And I'll just click on allow over here. And now we are linking this mail and it's going to give you some basic settings. So you have the people that can send from this email account. So first off, if this is a company email, you can send mail as the company. And let's say it's Jane at Durden. And then you can choose which people can send emails from this particular email account. So let's say I only want myself, then you can also choose certain administrative members only. Then you can choose members and admins, and you can even choose specific assignees. So that's totally up to you how you want to build your permissions on ClickUp. Now, after that, you have a signature option as well. So you can add signatures as well. And then you have templates that you can build. Now we're just going to click on save over here. And now within this task, let's say finding affiliate keywords at scale. So I want to send this. I'll just send this to myself over here so I can enter my email address like this. I'll just enter my email address like this and I can enter my subject. So let's say inaccurate work like this and then we can actually even type in our commands so i can mention a person mention a task like this so like this has been improperly handled or whatever comments you want to add you can add those you even have some email templates as well as your email settings now we are just going to click on send email and this email will be sent now not only will this be present over here but this will also be present in the mailbox so if i go into my mailbox over here i can probably find that particular email so you guys can see this email has been sent directly to my uh, employee or to myself because i sent it to myself 
Now with this, we can actually start building email templates. So all you have to do is click on add mail, and then you can click on email settings, click on templates over here, and click on add template. Now these are premium features and the emailing functions are limited on the free plan of ClickUp. However, you can even add a signature on the premium plan. Now you can always get a free trial on ClickUp for one week for their initial setup so if you are looking to increase your email functionality you can always do that and with emailing you have a bunch of different options to further customize your mailing so instead of having to add comments over here especially if you have workspace guests as well then you can manage your activity like this so you can choose a particular mailing account and then just send emails accordingly now, with this, you have a bunch of other integrations on ClickUp as well. So if you connect a URL, you can actually add more data from different platforms and you can mention a lot of data from your ClickUp account directly into the mail. So if we take a look at the link that is mentioned, it's automatically going to open up that particular task in ClickUp. So whatever you are mentioning in the mail on ClickUp will be shown as a link in the mailbox. Now, you even have certain options to highlight your text. You can build, you know, badges. You can add a red badge to highlight certain text. You can add a command, a assignee. You can add a subtask that needs to be completed as well. Now, other than this, if you natively don't want to send emails with your email address over here, and maybe you want to upgrade your features on ClickUp if you're looking for something a bit more, if you're looking for more innovation, or if you want to build something else, you can always go into the top right over here and click on add automation. And you can actually add automations over here. So let's say we want to build a automation based on an assignee or based on when a task has been added, you can build those automations to make it easier for you to be notified. Plus with your automation, you can always send emails, you can send reminders to yourself as well directly on ClickUp as well as your integration. So if you take a look at emails over here, you guys can see we have mail based automation such as task created, then send an email when a due date arrives, then you can get an email. When an assignee changes, you can get an email as well. So if we take a look at some of the mail based automations, we can choose, you know, one of the integrative options and then go on ahead and upgrade to uh, be able to activate all of those kinds of options. Now, with MailChimp, it's super easy and effective to use. And if you're looking to integrate outside applications, you can always do that to further boost your efficiency. Plus, you can create shortcuts on the top right to make it easier for you to access all of your functionalities on ClickUp. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to send emails with ClickUp. If you did find this helpful and you're looking for more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we create content on these marketing platforms, on project management tools, and so much more that can be super helpful in building your business and establishing and reaching your goals and milestones stones and if there's anything else that you would like to know we'll leave that in the comment box and or if there's anything that i skipped out on make sure to leave that in the comments down below too i would love to know what you guys have to say and i will catch you guys in the next video